if you're afraid of rejection, you can fail, you can get rejected at doing something that you hate. So do it, so get rejected with doing something you love. What up, gang? Um, I'm gonna do something very unconventional um, that you don't hear from coaches, entrepreneurs, um, whatever, whatever have you, any type of business owner. And telling you this scares me. Like, seriously, it terrifies me because I think I feel like that you will think well, I'm a failure and that you'll think that I don't know what I'm talking about or that I'm not an expert. But like, I wanna tell you this because this is freaking real. This is the truth. This is what you don't get to see. You don't get to see the failure. And I'm gonna share mine with you right now. Um, so recently I launched a coaching program um, or I'm, I've opened enrollment to the coaching program. And thus far I am zero for five. So I've had five calls in just a few days and I've gotten no's on all five, all in a row. Um, that's never been like this. And to, on top of that, I had two or three people, I think two people last week, cancel their subscription to my membership, the Freedom School. So uh, obviously it's, <sighs> this is real, man. Like this is why I wanna share this is because no matter how success, successful you may seem, how whatever you seem like you have together, how cool you are, how knowledgeable you are, like you are still gonna get rejected. And that's really why I wanna talk about rejection and the fear of rejection. Um, and that's what this video is about today is the fear of rejection and to really talk about myself as I lounge on this couch. <laughs> Cause dude, like I'm bummed. Like, let me just tell you that, like, getting five rejections all in a row, no wins, no signups, people canceling their subscription, it, it sucks, man. Like, I'm not going to sit up here, I'm not going to stand in front of this, sit in front of this camera and tell you that, woo, that feels so good. And sure, I'm going to give you some tips uh, that I'm using with myself, like, that I'm coaching myself that I've learned and that I want to share with, that I'm going to share with you, but it still freaking sucks. And like, this is part of the feeling is like, we're, you know, is like, uh, like the first tip, you know, I'll say is like, don't take it personally, but it's so easy to say that. And like anything in the world, it's easier said than done. That goes without saying, but you know, it's just like, in a world where we just say, get up, keep trying, keep going. This is the real shit. Like, rejection, denial, failure. And, you know, I've had much easier sign up and success rate, you know, in the past. And so, <laughs> and I, you just have to laugh at it almost like, <laughs> ah, but it still sucks. And I just want to tell you like, it's okay to feel down. Like it's okay to feel like, damn, like I'm pouring my heart and soul into something and to get rejected, it freaking sucks. And so I just wanted to share my personal feelings of, this is very raw. Like I just barely got my fifth rejection and it doesn't feel good. Shit, man. It sucks. And it's okay that it feels that way. When you really care about something, we should hope that it feels like that, right? Like we're giving our heart and soul to it. Um, but I came up with some tips for anyone who feels the fear of rejection. Number one is to don't take it personally. 
and I've gotten a lot better at this at to not taking it personally. Like we cannot force or control someone. Like it's going to drive us crazy to think that we can control somebody. Um, I truly believe that rejection is protection from what is not meant for you. Like if something isn't coming into your life, it's for a purpose. It's, you know, it's not meant for us for whatever reason. Um, like we're supposed to learn something from this. And like think of a back, think back to a time when you really wanted to date someone, um, you know, and it was so painful. Like you wanted to date them so badly, and now you look back and you're like, thank God it didn't work out. You know, because now you're single and you're loving it and you're happy because their life is a mess or it just wouldn't have worked out or you're now with the love of your life. You know, like whatever it may be is like you're happy that didn't work out. Like. It might be painful right now, but it's happening for our benefit. So number one is don't take it personally. But that's, again, it's just so easy to say that. And I want to tell you that it does get easier. So even though like I feel the pain of rejection right now, it's not as, you know, it has been five times. So it's been more, <laughs> it's compounded, um, you know, with just boom, 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 boom. It's painful, man. Um, but I'll be honest that I... I'm taking it less personally than I have. So I want to tell you that progress is possible and it's real. Um, the first time I got rejected, I took it so personally. Like I was really like hurt. Like my heart, like my soul was shattered because um, it was for a retreat, um, for the first retreat we did. But the first person I had on a call, you know, you pour absolutely everything. You're so pumped about this product, this experience that you're building, like it is you. So when you get denied, when you get rejected, you do take it personally because it is you. It's not like I'm selling a vacuum cleaner going door to door and then I get rejected and it's like, oh, you just didn't want the vacuum cleaner. When you're selling yourself and someone doesn't want to buy that, it feels like they're not buying you, right? It's like, I don't want or like or feel what you have to offer is worth this or it has value for me to invest in it that hurts like it really does um and like i just took it so personally um but i want to tell you that there's light in the tunnel and so don't take it personally is to just practice <laughs> rejection <laughs> like um like you just have to keep going it's like it's the reps just get is just practice <laughs> rejection like it's gonna happen and that brings me to point number two is like, it's going to happen. Like rejection is going to happen. Like we can't sign every client. We can't win every game we play. And does that mean we stop playing? Absolutely not. Like, uh, does that mean we're not pissed off? Absolutely not because we care about it. So we can be pissed off. Like, so like for me, for this example, you guys can probably tell I'm more emotional than usual because this is super fresh, but I wanted to give you like a fresh take on this and how to even like coach yourself when you are emotional, how to feel those emotions um, and expressing. Like this could be part of the reason why I got rejected is who knows to share this video with you because someone else in the world needed to hear it. Maybe I got denied five times because you, whoever you're listening, I freaking love you. You needed to hear this. And like, honestly, I'm okay with that. Like if it took X amount of rejection or me not to make X amount of money for you to learn this and for me to learn something, hell yeah, that's dope. And like, I'm not gonna quit because if I didn't put myself out there, right? If I didn't keep, go keep going, there's that one person who needs this more than those other five people. Right? And like, this is, you know, the narrative I'm telling myself to like, keep going. I'm like, I'm never going to stop. Like, if you stop right now, if I were to stop right now, that one person who really needed it, who is eager to do this thing that you can help, that you can inspire, they wouldn't get that thing. They wouldn't get the help that that you can provide, that I can provide. So hell no, I'm not gonna stop, ever. There is no other option. There is no other 
option. So I invite you to think of like, do you want that thing bad enough? Do you want that thing, like whatever you want, whether it's a job, a partner, um, joy in your life, like creating your own business, like a sale, like rejection is inevitable. But do you want that thing enough because rejection is just an obstacle in the way that feels very real, it freaking sucks, to decide how much you want it. Like, how bad do you want that thing? Like, number three, tip number three is, like, what can we learn? What this experience could be teaching me is how to, like, these denials could be teaching me how to get to the people who really need it, right? To change my message, to get to you, whoever's watching. It could be inspiring content to change my message, to inspire more people, to motivate me, to make me work harder, <laughs> you know, to like get to people. So, you know, you can kind of see like, this is super fresh of me just like brainstorming, you know, of how rejection is really protecting me from things that aren't really meant for me. Like, what am I supposed to be learning from this? Um, and at the end of the day is I did my best. Um, as I lean in, as I, I just really want to tell you guys this, that I did my absolute best. And so yeah, I'm upset and pissed that I didn't sign five clients, that I lost some members from the Freedom School, from our membership. But I'm doing my absolute best. And that's what gives me peace. Is, it, yes, it sucks. And it's okay to feel that. And what's also okay is to be at peace with that. Like, I did my freaking best. My absolute best. I, I, I really am sitting here thinking that I did my absolute best. Is it true that I gave my best? Yes. Then what else is there? There is nothing. There's nothing else to ask for. Like I'm giving my heart and soul to this. Like I did my best. And if you can relate to me, if you are giving your best, that means you, like we, of course we can do things differently. We can change our strategy. We can change our energy. We can change our verbiage. We can change our, like how our mindset, you know, it's like we can do things differently, but that doesn't mean we're not giving our best at the time. Like on every single call that I had, I can tell you that I truly a thousand percent gave my best. And people were transformed in that hour. Like people literally felt more free in just one hour with me. So I did my best. Rejection is protection from whatever is not meant for us. Don't take it personally. What can we learn? We can learn a hell of a lot. And the last one is going to happen. Like rejection, if you're living in your highest p potential, rejection is inevitable. You can be rejected, you can be denied, you can fail, you can feel fear, you can be worried at any point of life. You can do that in something that you love or you can do that in something that you hate or that something that you feel blah about. It's such a myth that when you are living the dream, when you're your own coach, when you make you know X amount of money, that it's just gonna disappear. No, man. We level up, we go to the next level, we get new challenges and good. That's what life's about, it's about learning. And so if you're afraid of rejection, you can fail, you can get rejected at doing something that you hate. So do it, so get rejected with doing something you love and learn along the way, keep getting rejected, keep failing, keep learning. Cause it's so freaking worth it. Ugh. And if you don't try, you're rejecting yourself. Really though. And that's the most powerful tool or a powerful realization. Like you are rejecting yourself. If you're not trying, if you're not taking the risk, if you're not going out on that edge, if you're not just living and you're not jumping, you are rejecting yourself. Let's touch on this. like. 
your fear of rejection, you are rejecting yourself. You are rejecting yourself because you fear the rejection of others. So really what you fear is actually happening. You're not doing the thing because you're afraid of getting rejected, but then you reject yourself. I think, I mean, no shame, no guilt, but I'm going to say that's worse. Like, I'd rather be rejected by others. Like, I poured my heart and soul. I can say that I did my absolute best. And that's winning. That's success in my book. So stop rejecting yourself. Take a risk. Take a chance. Post that thing. Um, try and sell. Send a message. Say that thing to your... Um, be honest. Like, say that thing to your spouse, to your partner, to your family. Live free, man. Man, I love you. <laughs> Woo! Hopefully you got some value from this because that was just an emotional... Yeah, that was real. Super vulnerable. In the moment. Not super duper calculated. Just speaking how I feel. Wanted to give you some points of how I'm coaching myself and that it doesn't matter what it seems like. Um, this is the real thing and that's part of it and this is how we learn and as long as you give your best that's all you can ask for alright y'all thank you for watching